Hello, if you see me for the first time, my name is Izumi. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you've seen me before, welcome back. Today, I want to let you guys into how I came about this hair color, right? So this is literally a product review for Dai Jini Hair Wax. It's a Nigerian brand and that's why I am so proud to be reviewing it. Now, if you followed my hair journey for a while, you'd notice that I used to be a color freak back in the day until I suffered severe color damage. So I had colored my hair three times in the past. First, I had um, a very dark shade of brown. Then second time I went in for honey blonde. The third time it was bright auburn, reddish kind of color. And then after that third color, my hair was like, you know what, I'm done, I need a break. And that was when I had my third big chop, sometime in 2016. So after that incident, I just told myself, we're done playing with colors. And really, like, I promised myself that I wasn't going to color my hair. But guys, it has been so freaking hard. That's like the hardest thing to do for me because I like to experiment with my hair. You know, put in new colors, see how it turns out, look at how it complements my skin tone and all of that. But I haven't been able to do that for the longest time. And every time I walk into the beauty supply store, it takes the grace of God to prevent me from reaching for <laughs> a jar of permanent hair color. And early into 2019, I started seeing lots of temporary color options. I saw hair chalks um spray paints and the rest of them but i don't know a part of me just felt like that was going to really really dry my hair out i think two or three times i've tried to make a purchase from these paint wax companies but i always have that uncertainty of ah, i don't know what's going to happen i don't know if it's going to cause me any kind of damage and i'm really not ready to deal with color damaged hair like not after my previous experiences eventually i decided to throw caution to the wind and i came across this brand in nigeria that makes paint waxes right and their name is daijini i thought that i would just you know show you guys how it works so if you're like me and you've been wanting to experiment with your hair try more colors but not run the risk of getting a color damage this video is for you so before we continue let me make it very clear that this is not a sponsored video in any way i know most of you go by personal recommendation so i'm trying to incorporate more reviews into my videos so that you would have you know um background knowledge of a couple of products before you decide whether or not to buy them so I got these three colors. I actually requested for two, but then I got an extra one alongside it too. So I'll take them out of the packaging, which I think is really, really cute. Nigerian brands have been impressing me a lot lately, and I'm just so proud of the great job that most of these brands are doing. It really isn't easy not easy especially when you have a, a demanding market and people who are just waiting to criticize everything you do it can be quite difficult to put yourself out there but you can't keep listening to the naysayers right you got to do something okay so the so the smallest one here is the slime green i don't know if you can see the name then we have foxy red and mood purple for today's video <clears throat> So I'm going to be using this mood purple. Let me show you what it looks like in the pack. Okay. I'm starting on freshly washed hair. And I also deep conditioned my hair because I've never used this product before. So then the brand gave me their word that um, it wasn't going to dry my hair or anything. That it's, it was actually designed for natural textures. So I'm going to leave them. And Let's get in this. Right in the base of this pack, I found this little note that has 
uh, how to use directions. So it says one, dampen hair to rub wax on palms and smooth through hair from ends to root. Hmm. Root. Three, air dry and style. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm getting to my roots though because I want black roots. So I'm basically just getting like purple highlights. Okay, not highlight highlights, but ombre kind of look is what I'm going for. So... I honestly don't know how to describe the scent of this, but it doesn't smell bad at all. It smells like like deodorant, like men's deodorant, something. Yeah. I've done the second one now, and as at the time of application, it my hair is not feeling dry in any way, so would know how that goes by the time we're done, right? So. I don't know for some reason i feel like i'm not using this thing the right way so let me just go back and read how to use one dampen hair rub wax on oh rub wax on palms i've been applying the wax directly to my hair rub wax on palms and smooth through hair from ends to roots so um i'm going to do the rest of them and come back something to note is that you don't want to do this on dry hair so either your hair is wet or damp wet like not soaking wet but damp just make sure your hair is damp so this other area already dried out while i was styling the other area so i'm just going to mist it add some water and this is the best hair misting tool that i have no way because it doesn't saturate your hair with water, it just does what it should. Mist it, it just gives it little sparks of heaven. Quick length check, guys. I'm bad. <laughs> so i think aside from the fact that this thing acts as a styler it has an elongating effect so guys let's go over the entire process one more time so at this point i'm going to say that when you do dampen your hair if you go on to apply maybe like a leave-in conditioner or a moisture milk or an oil just keep in mind that you're not going to get as much color payoff when you finally apply the paint wax so it's best to just moisturize with only water 
then follow with the paint wax and style it how you want it styled until it's dry so and this is the reason why it's it's not advisable to have these paint waxes on for longer than maybe a day or two because it actually doesn't allow you moisturize your hair because if you try to moisturize you notice that the color starts to transfer so yeah i thought i'll just add that tip in case you are going to try this out so you don't make that mistake i think it's best for you know occasional use or for the weekends and anything that does not require you to wear for too long guys i want to show you something so you know i mentioned that this product doesn't dry your hair so don't even worry if you don't moisturize before applying it look at this did you guys see that swell priceless Technically, we're done. So, we're just going to let this air dry and then take down the twist and see what it looks like. So, my hair is all dry now, and I'm going to take it down to see what this ends up looking like. Now, well, just in case you're wondering, from yesterday's application, I didn't have any stains or colors on my hands like as soon as i washed my hands everything was gone so getting your hands and fingers stained isn't something to worry about at the same time if you if you're still not comfortable putting your finger in the paint wax feel free to use a pair of gloves let's take this hair down already So the color is not transparent. That's a good thing. So I'm going for the chunky twist south look. I'm going to start creating it now. I like the results I'm getting from this. Like, so priceless. Do you know how it feels to be able to switch up your hair color without the fear of getting color damage? That feeling is next to me. Indescribable. so guys this is the finished look and i honestly have to tell you that this paint wax is the truth trust me if you're a very experimental person you like to try out new stuff and 
you just don't want to run the risk of having to deal with color damage this is for you and my hair doesn't feel dry at all the paint wax is really moisturizing it doesn't feel dry in any way i do have um, a little color transfer on my fingers and that's generally because i didn't let it dry completely because i was going for a chunky twist out look if you saw my chunky twist out video sometime last year you would notice that i said that one of the secrets to a bomb chunky twist out result is not letting your hair dry completely so you have to like take down the style when your hair is like 90 85 to 90 percent dry so when you take down the style it just dries all together it actually lasts longer when you do it like that i must tell you that this paint wax is the truth because it literally feels like your regular styling butter so you don't even need to be a professional to be able to use it you just need to figure out what you want the look you're going for and dig in like that's how cool it is you can mix colors if you want to because i'm trying for the first time i'm like let me just respect myself and use one color first then if i end up liking it i'll now start trying to experiment with it and as it is i absolutely love it like love it, it just takes you from you know zero to hundred switch up on them real quick and they don't even know what hits them so guys chunky twist styles are like my favorite hairstyle because i like the chunky locks effect that it has and my mom absolutely adores this hairstyle so even when i'm really confused and okay i'm trying to film a tutorial and i don't know what style to do the minute i go mommy what style should i make next thing i hear is chunky twist out like it's like a default response she doesn't even think before saying she just goes chunky twist out chunky twist out. like this woman anyway about this paint wax i'm going to leave all of their details in the video description so if you'd like to get one please definitely reach out to them they're a new brand they are very new in the nigerian market and i'm really happy to be reviewing your products and i hope that you guys do well to patronize them you guys let me know what next you want me to do with these paint waxes all right all right guys that'll be it for today's video i need to go and get my life together because i have quite a number of things on my to-do list for today so you guys excuse me and i'll see you when i'm done bye